All right, welcome to this week's Travel and oh! Young. And I know that it's not Christmas anymore. No. But we were super we've behind been, on our videos. We've been busy. <laughs> and I thought about it, and it's still snow. Well, I mean, actually, when this, it will see. We're recording this before it's airing. I don't know if there'll be snow on the ground then. But generally, it's been a very snowy winter. And yes, we're, it and has. We're, My goodness. We're in the middle of those months where it's just like the most cold and miserable. And so let's like let's let's snow. let's enjoy a little <laughs> bit of Christmas. <laughs> Retrospective. Retrospective. And at some point in the future, nobody will know when we launch this. Yeah. So <laughs> we went to Vienna right before Christmas to visit the Christmas market in Vienna. And we want to talk to you about that. We want to rank the experience and explain what it was like to go to the Vienna because maybe later this year in 2024 <gasps> you'll want to go. To Maybe. the Vienna Christmas Market on this week's Travel and Young. <laughs> okay, here we are in. Uh, in not Christmas time. You know who's back here hiding out? It's Brisket. You can see him. Brisket's it's behind us here. Sitting. I don't know if you can... I may crop this to the point you may not be able to see him, but... <laughs> so we want to talk about the Christmas market in Vienna, Austria. Yes. So what happens Lovely is... Vienna. Since, like, we've been to a lot of Christmas markets, we enjoy the atmosphere and the yes, experience and the Glühwein or Gluck or whatever yeah. it happens to be the drinking... Yep. Uh, and the mug and a little uh, boots. Getting our boot mug. Um, so we've been to Christmas markets before Vienna. It, yes. Obviously all over Copenhagen and in Denmark we went to Ulsa. Yep. We've been to a bunch of ones in, in Denmark. Yep. Um, but also we went to Berlin once. We went to uh, Birmingham. Birmingham one year. Yep. We went to uh, Riga, Latvia. Yep. That was still open oh, after that Christmas. that was fun, yeah. We went to... Goodness, man, we've been to Paris. Oh gosh, Christmas yeah, a markets. couple times. I really yeah. like that. We went one. once to Lubeck and Hamburg from here. We've been one in Sevilla, Spain. There was a Christmas. Oh, party. we went to Spain, yeah, and Barcelona, and, and Barcelona. I got a, a pooping messy <laughs> thing. That's a Christmas thing. I don't That's know. another story. Um, and then we've been to uh, Gutenberg um, once. Yep. We went up there. Strasbourg. So, uh, that was not Christmas time. No, okay. Uh, but I think that's a big market. No, it's um, I don't know. There's been a ton of a markets. Lot. And so every year, oh, uh, Geneva and Montreux one yep. year. So We're every year, we try to go to at least one new Christmas market yes. to experience it. And it's a nice weekend away. And this time, we went to Vienna. We did. And we haven't been to Vienna in, I think it's been since the World Cup in 2006. So six. almost. 20 so years. yeah, seventeen years. Yeah, and then I had been time. once also before in uh, 1997, and those were summertime trips. So this yeah, was the first time in winter. So never in winter. Been a long time, and the winter time. And and what did you? Uh, you know, actually, let me just also preface this. We're gonna rank this in three different ways, <laughs> just to have some structure. We're gonna rank how good the food and drink was. Yeah. How good the shopping was, mm -hmm. and how good this the general atmosphere and decorations were. So let's start with the food and drink. What did you think about the food and drink? I have to say, I was a bit disappointed with the mm. food and drink. Um, I felt like they didn't have a lot of options. And I felt like it, there was nothing particularly unique um, at the Vienna market. And it... And we also went to three. In we Vienna, went to three way. different ones. And at least for food and drink, I was really not super impressed. I have to give it like a four. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I'd give it maybe a, a five because I did have that uh, that punch thing that was okay at one of them. That, that was, was okay. decent. But we ended up, because of that, eating in other places. Like yeah. we went to a schnitzel restaurant. Um, and we also had this brunch somewhere because yeah. we weren't overly excited. There was one like bread bowl soup thing that looked good. That I just wasn't hungry when I saw yeah. it. Um, but otherwise, it I was just, not overwhelmingly yeah. impressed. I, I think I mean, the I've had better pastries. blue vine. I, yeah. I thought we could get better yeah. pastries here in Denmark, to be honest. All right. The second now is the shopping and all the stalls. And my opinion on that, I would give it a, a four also. Yeah. Because I feel like so many of these Christmas markets are like the same stuff. Mm. everywhere you go and uh and i feel like there's not enough like local variety yeah. in a lot of these big ones i mean there were pockets of things that were kind of interesting they had some cool one place had a bunch of snow globes that yeah. would have been cool my like snow globes but we didn't 
check a bag so we wouldn't have been able to bring it back because of all the water inside. Um, and I mean, I like walking around looking at it all, but I wasn't like, oh man, we need to buy this at all for anything, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, and we, we even went to like an arts and crafts, like a more arts and crafts kind of one, and it just... I think it's because it's just not our vibe. Like that was not the kind of stuff that we buy. So it wasn't particularly interesting. And then the stuff at the other one that was a bit more traditional that was next to the, the cathedral, um, it, just, it was like really, tr- um, I would say stereotypical Christmas market stuff. I felt like I have we have better variety of stalls at the uh Christmas market than they had at this one. To be yeah, honest. Uh, um, the last category is just general atmosphere and decorations. And I think this was a nine. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, mean, you can't beat the location of the uh, main, the, like the main one. Right. I mean, there's this big Christmas tree. Yeah. The gorgeous cathedral right behind and all the stalls are surrounding the yeah. cathedral. Um, the first day we were walking around, it was snowing. And so it was just yeah, like was picturesque, cool. picturesque, although yeah. cold. Um, in the <laughs> snow and walking around yeah. and the beautiful and then uh, and then you go down the the main street from yeah, the like cathedral and all the soul. these lights all over the place yeah the ones that were like huge chandeliers that was crazy like that uh, was so cool looking and there was a store that had like a giant bow on the front of it yeah. um, and then the other one that we went to that was near the um uh, near the city hall yeah um, oh was that was also a good really one. cool yeah. that had a really neat like kind of like entryway yeah and then all and like a big thing in the, in that the was middle really, stuff. the that atmosphere was really cool. of that one was really good I and really then even that. even the arts and crafts one was cool because it was in front of this famous cathedral that we yep. went in and, and walked around and stuff um and then yeah so i give it a nine out of ten on that that was yeah. like one of the coolest spots i think um that i've seen at a christmas market to walk i have around. to say of the three we went to i think the one in front of the rohut spots was probably my favorite in terms of how it looked it was just super cool it had that space. big yeah it was more space it had like the huge uh carousel in the middle and it was very busy and looked like everybody was really having a good time i think they even had ice skating there uh, yeah, I think there was ice skating on the side. A lot going yeah. on. So the other things we did, we went around the cathedral next to the arts and crafts one, yep. um, which is uh, super cool. Um, we went in the main cathedral uh, next to the to the main main one, and we went to a Christmas concert. Yeah, we did. And that was really bought, cool to tickets sit to a lovely concert and watch a Christmas concert yeah. with the uh, you know people singing and and. Uh, and, and all that stuff. That was really cool. I was so, really happy you did that. And yeah. then we ate schnitzel, like I said, which is like my favorite thing. My mom calls me schnitzel boy because when I was there in 1997, <laughs> I would eat schnitzel, eat schnitzel every schnitzel. meal. Um, I went to a fa- somewhat famous schnitzel place that one of my yeah. friends recommended that uh, he's German, but he helped and me find it. And it was worth it. Yeah. yeah, that was good. So, I mean, it was a really nice weekend. Yeah. And it was a cool really time lovely. to just get away. So I would recommend you get direct flights from Copenhagen to Vienna. Yeah. Or if you're just out and about, it was kind of a nice thing. So... Fast forward to Christmas of 2024 or 2025, whatever you watch this video. (laughs) Consider Vienna. That was a, I mean. I think it was fun. It was a fun weekend. Um, I wouldn't necessarily go specifically for the Christmas markets, but you cannot beat the location. And it is a really nice trip. I mean, Vienna is just a beautiful city. So I think you should go. Yeah, we just went on a Friday night and came back on a Sunday. So overall, given all the individual rankings, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 overall in terms of Christmas markets. Yeah, I think because the, of the atmosphere the, in the spot. The atmosphere so cool. carries it, so I'll give it a seven. Yeah, there you go. All right, there's a quick little yes. touch on the Vienna <laughs> Christmas market as we keep up this one video a week pace that we've got going. Can we keep it going? Uh, can we keep can it we going? Yeah. I don't know. Here's a link to one of the Christmas videos we've done about Denmark, which yes. also has phenomenal markets. Like in this case, so the one good. in Udense, which is the best market in, so Copen- good. in Denmark, not in so Copenhagen. Good. In Denmark, one of the best. And that's it for this week's Travel on Y'all. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>